Hi, Famous here. Today we are gonna do a test to confirm if the fat script actually triggers correctly. We will do it in two ways, by holding down the trigger all the time, and the second way is by doing tap release step like a semi-auto weapon. This time, I unequipped uh, adrenaline perk to make the damage more consistent. Let's do the hold wave first. Not a single crit damage number shows up. Okay, fast forward. Okay, this is the semi auto way. I'll put the result on the screen to compare. So from the result, the semi auto way did a little bit better, which is really surprising for me because I actually expect more. So I think you can do just fine by holding the trigger. The 5% difference is tolerable for casual boss run, in my opinion. I'll do another test to prove that the crits happen as often as they supposed to. What we are going to do now is to compare damage inflicted between critical safety on and off. I did some simple math on paper. I'll put the math in the description. The damage difference should be roughly 48%. First with critical safety on. Okay. Now let's put off the critical safety perk. I think I missed one or two shots, but it shouldn't matter that much. Okay, let's see the result. So I roughly measure the pixel using paint. There's only 18% more damage, which is very surprising. So I guess fat grid does not work correctly here. We might be able to kill Earl and Scorchby Queen much faster. In a case where Bethesda wants to nerf Commando, they should fix this problem first. That's it from me today. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Have a good day.